Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our legs, do some lifting. So let's begin with the greater stretch, five repetitions on each side to warm up. Make sure your mobility, especially in your lower body is good to go because as we increase the volume of exercises or the volume of uh, weight we are going to lift, it is very vital that our tendons, our joints are in good shape, our muscles are able to contract and e uh, take eccentric load very well. Mm -hmm. So dynamic stretching plays a vital part pre-workout so that we start off on a good note. So post completing the greatest stretch for five repetitions, feeling the stretch in my hip muscles, my hamstring, my glutes, my calf muscles, I move on to my mandatory deep squat for the day wherein I sit down in a squat for a few seconds push my glutes as far behind as possible feel the stretch in my hamstrings no tension on my back then start bending my knees go into a deep squat see how my feet remain completely planted they don't move so I'm using my feet to grip the floor as tightly as possible stay there feel the stretch Try to push my knees a little bit out with my elbows to feel a little bit more stretch and that's it. Now we can begin with our exercises. Now to start off with the first exercise I'm going to do is RDLs. We have done this earlier also. Simply take a bar of a rack, push your glutes as far behind as possible. That will get the bar going down because as your hamstrings stretch you lean forward. And once you feel the complete stretch in your hamstrings, pull the bar back up by squeezing your glutes together. So the force is not pulling back up, but it's actually going horizontal with your glutes squeezing forward. Now this will activate your glutes and make them do the amount of work which is required. Make sure you follow this strictly to ensure there is no load shifting onto your lower back. The bar should remain in contact with your body at all times so that the center of mass remains close if the bar starts swinging forward the center of mass is shifting and the load starts shifting upwards upwards which is on your lower back and your back mid back and that is not favorable we want the bar close to our body use straps use gloves let grip strength not compromise your movement or the exercise now I've done four sets of these, started with 15 repetitions at a light weight, then added weight, did 10, 10 repetitions, then for the final set, added a little bit more weight and completed off with eight repetitions. I've taken 45 to 60 seconds break in between. Make sure your feet are placed, basically your toes are facing a little bit outwards. They're at a narrow stance, not too narrow, not too wide, just in the inside the shoulder width, but my toes are facing outwards to feel that extra a bit of inner thighs basically inner and the hamstring inner hamstrings I would mean so once done with this particular exercise remember you don't need not touch the bar down if you feel enough stretch in your hamstring that's more than sufficient post this I started off with the reverse lunges three sets 15 repetitions each leg with a 60 second break in between so now when I say rest in between I mean with complete both the legs that's 30 repetitions in total and then you may take a break now you may also go without taking a break but I felt I was draining out myself and my repetitions were not coming out clean so I decided to take a break in between but you can definitely challenge yourself by taking a break here I am using couple of foam mats to create a deficit basically create a height on my foot forward so that I can bend a lot more further I'm holding on to a dumbbell to add extra amount of weight and taking a support of a rack so that I can stay focused in my lunges. Here too, when you're lunging up, make sure you're using your glutes to get back up straight. As you push through your front leg, squeeze your glutes together to get yourself back up straight. So hamstrings and glutes are still working. Yes, you will feel a little bit of quad work, but that's absolutely fine. A pretty easy exercise. If you don't want to do it with a deficit, you can also do it regular uh, reverse lunges, which I have done in my previous videos also. But try this way. It works amazingly for your glutes and hamstrings. Now, post completing my reverse lunges, I moved on to low bar squats. Now, by low bar, I mean placing the bar 
under your traps. Usually you place the bar on your traps, just under your neck. You shelf the bar in that position here. We take the bar under our traps. So they are in line with our shoulders and take a wide stance at your legs and an open stance. Your toes are again facing outward. So the pressure is a lot more on your glutes and hamstrings in terms of coming back up. Try to be in a partial range of motion. We don't want to completely squat down or get completely up straight. Keep the tension high in our glutes, in our hamstrings. Challenge them as much as possible. Start off again with 15 repetitions to just get going. Then do 10, 10 repetitions of a good challenging weight. And in the last set, you can drop down the weight again to your first set weight and rep it out for 30 repetitions. Here you can see clearly how the bar is on my shoulder level just under my traps on my mid traps my stance is pretty wide my toes are facing outwards and i'm not completely getting up neither i'm going completely down just keeping the tension constantly on my glutes and hamstrings yes your cords are putting in work in terms of getting your knee up back up straight but the tension remains in our glutes to make sure that we are able to hold the position and that's once done with this particular exercise. Again, take some time to figure out the position might feel a little bit awkward initially, but it is not very tough. It's actually easy. You just need to lean a little slightly a bit forward to put the load back a little bit lower on your back. Now for the next exercise, I'm going to start with the knee extensions. Now this one is brutal saying that very in a subtle manner, but it is brutal. So we are doing three sets, 15 repetitions followed by at least six drops so imagine you start with 50 kilos and you have a five increment uh, equipment at your disposal so you from 50 kilos you go to 45 you go to 40 then you go to 35 then you go to 30 so you drop the weight six times and try to rep out as many repetitions as possible in every drop the first set uh, the first beginning we do 15 repetitions then we drop so for 50 kilos you have done 50 rep 15 repetitions then you drop the weight to 45 get as many repetitions as possible then 40 as many repetitions as possible so one set will take you some amount of time depending upon the weight you're choosing to go with here too you need not completely extend your knees or get them absolutely straight Try to just keep the tension. Make sure the cushioning is making, uh, keeping the constant tension. You don't want the tension to be lost when your legs are down. So put it all the way under so that the cushion is constantly pushing on your ankles to create that stretch in your quad muscles. As you can see, I just take a few seconds in between. I'm going to speed up the multiple videos because it's pretty boring to just watch me doing knee extensions because it's a pretty easy exercise and since it's, it's an ex equipment based exercise you don't need much of an explanation there now for my next exercise i'm going to do leg press two sets 15 repetitions using the pause and rest technique to get another 15 to 20 repetitions more now by now my legs were done i was not able to do much of it but i did try as hard as possible the first 15 repetitions itself were feeling tough and I wanted to keep the range of motion again in that mid partial range of motion, not leaving the tension out of my legs. And after completing 15 repetitions, take few seconds break. You may use your hands or if you have a partner, ask them to help you out to get those extra five repetitions after every few seconds break out of you. Now, this would be quite challenging. So try to keep up with it. If you feel the weight is too heavy, you might drop a five or 10 pounds here and there that's absolutely fine but try to do the rest pause technique now to finish off with i'm going to do step ups now for doing the step ups if you have a step up box really great if you don't you can use a regular flat bench to do the step ups now i wanted to do it holding on to dumbbells but my legs were done for the day now you have to do four sets of these 15 repetitions each leg simply lean a little bit forward and start stepping up and your quads will be on fire now make sure that you're leaning slightly forward and using less of your leg behind as much as possible because we want the leg which is on the step step up box or the, or on the bench to do the maximum amount of work 
and as you can see if you feel any kind of imbalance with the weights you can always leave the weight alone and hold on to a rack or a support to get the reps out of your leg and that's it for today we are done with our leg exercises i'm going to finish off with the static stretching both for my quads and hamstrings one of the vital things which i never miss out on making sure to stretch my muscle to its neutral length thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel i would really appreciate you subscribing to the channel any feedback which you have please do share in the comment section let me know if any exercise which you would want me to do some other way or if you want me to provide any other alternatives because i understand i'm going with few fixed exercises and sometimes that particular equipment might not be at your disposal so i might be able to suggest you something new but make sure you get those exercises in now if you feel the volume is not too high i don't know why would you feel that because this volume is brutal you might even add on a bulgarian split squat here and there to finish off your leg workout perfectly so yeah that's for today i will see you in the next video you have a good day and i wish you a good recovery make sure you do a little bit of foam rolling and static stretching if required if you feel the uh, tightness in your muscles thank you have a good day